What's good, family? It's your boy, Minister Marrow. Y'all already know it's another beautiful, blessed day God allowed us to see. It's another beautiful, blessed week that we are blessed to press forward in by faith. I pray that all is well with you and your family. And I pray that you are pressing forward by faith, knowing that God is with you. He's always going to be with you. And he's always going to have you covered. Check it out, family. Monday motivational moment. Let your faith produce what you need. Let your faith produce what you need. We know that where we are today, we're dealing with tough times. We know that we're in a season of tough times, dealing with the pandemic, having to be quarantined, and a lot of us dealing with the loss of loved ones. But the Lord sent me on here also to remind you that as children of God, it's our responsibility to remain in faith. In order to get what we need, we can only receive it by faith in who God is and by faith in God's word. And so I have some scriptures that I'm going to share with you all in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 in the King James Version. The word of the Lord reads, For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, Ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. And that same verse, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, in the New Living Translation, it says, Therefore, we never stop thanking God that when you received his message from us, you didn't thank of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted what we said as the very word of God, which of course it is. And this word continues to work in you who believe. And so Paul is saying that, listen, we thank God when God gives us a word and we share it with you all and you receive it as a word from the Lord, not as our own knowledge, not as us telling you what we want to tell you, but we're telling you what the word of God says. We're telling you what God is saying in his word. And it's an exciting time when we declare the word of the Lord and you receive it as a message from God. Because when you receive God's word and you believe in who God is and you believe in God's word, God's word is at work in you because you believe. And so when you believe in God's word, God's word becomes your reality. It becomes effective in your life. You begin to experience the full manifestation of what God has declared and promised through his word taking place in your life. And so family, I'm on here to encourage you to let you know to keep walking by faith and not by sight. We know it's not always easy to deal with tough times and tough situations. We know that we are living in the natural. We know that we are in the flesh. We know that we have feelings and emotions. But just as real as where we are is, know that God is real as well. God is not a man that he should lie, nor his son having to repent. If God said it, it is so. I want to share with you very quickly also in Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. That means nothing is too hard for God when you believe. When you're in faith, there's nothing that can stop you block you, shake you, or hinder you. There's nothing that can come against you. When you're in faith, there is nothing that you will lack because all things are possible when we believe. And so we have to be in faith. Whatever your needs are, know that by faith, it's available to you. If you need wisdom from God, it's available to you. If you need strength to stand firm on God's word, if you need strength to stay focused, it's available to you. If you need healing, you can get in God's word and know that by faith, it's available to you. If you need provision, if you need financial blessing or whatever your needs are, 
know that it's available to you. If you need comfort, if you need peace, if you need joy, it's available to you. Even when you get into God's word to meditate and labor in his word and read his word in order for you to get an understanding, know that all knowledge, godly wisdom, and revelation is available to you through the word of God. And so I encourage you today, family, to press forward, walking by faith and not by sight, to know that God's word is at work in you because you believe. Everything we've read in the word of the Lord, all things are working together for your good. You can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. You are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you. All right. You are victorious. You are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. You are a lender and not a borrower. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And so everything that God has declared in his word, it is becoming effective in your life when you are in faith. I have one more scripture that I'm going to share with you. Mark eleven twenty four. 24. It says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. When you pray and you believe, it's already available. When you pray and you declare the word of the Lord, it's already happening. It's taking place. You've already received it. You just got to press forward by faith and expect it and know that it's already available. The Lord said in this word, ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. And so you can press forward by faith knowing that when you have strong faith, you'll always have a strong finish. When you have great expectations, you have great faith. And so let your faith produce what you need. Whatever it is you need, family, know that God has made it available to you. And by faith, you can obtain it. So I encourage you, walk by faith and not by sight. We know we are dealing with hard and tough times right now. Even those of you who are dealing with the loss of loved ones, know that I am praying for you. It's okay to have your moment. It's okay for us to have a moment to cry. It's okay to, for us to have a moment to release what is in us because we don't want to hold it in. But most importantly, we have to remember family. We have to get into the word of God, stay in God's word, and we have to remain in faith because everything we need can only be received by faith, believing in who God is and believing in his word. Let your faith produce what you need. Let your faith produce the open doors. Let your faith produce the opportunities. Even when you are in your home and you're having your creative sessions and you're writing and you're developing, let your faith get you what you need with the leading of the Holy Spirit. Family, I love you. God bless you and know that everything is going to be all right. Can I encourage you and let you know you're going to make it? You're going to make it. Everything is going to be all right. Know that Jesus loves you and so do I. And y'all already know, by faith be good, for we walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you. I love you. Enjoy your week. I'm out.